Hey guys, welcome to my first Unity of Command Let's Play in a long time, and hopefully it'll be the beginning of a whole bunch that are coming out. Um, first, let's kind of go over the scenario we're playing today, the Race for Rostov a scenario briefing. Um, it is the next easy one. I'm not going in order of Germans any more than Russians. I'm just going to do easiest to hardest. Uh, it's been a while, so I, I know that I'll probably get my butt kicked a little. So, race for Rostov, January 1st, 1943. Retreating Axis units from the Caucasus are rushing to join the defenses of Army Group Don. Soviets mount an advance from the Stalingrad area, racing to shut the door on them at Rostov. So, basically, we're just basically trying to cut off the German units. The enemy is fighting the delaying action along the eastern bank of the Don. Maneuver aggressively to cut rail transport route into Rostov before more enemy divisions escape. Victory, 12 turns. Decisive victory is if I can do it in 9 turns. Brilliant victory if I can capture every objective on time. Suspect that won't be the case. I've had a hard time with the brilliant victory and even decisive victory, but we'll see. Scoring. Remaining prestige is added to score. Requisition from the Stavka reserve only when you really need to. Scenario notes. Axis forces extricated from the Coxes will appear to the south of Rostov on turns 1, 2, 7, and 8. Reinforcements from the OKH arrive on the west on turns 3 and 7. So, it's been a while, guys, and I've kind of had a sucky job I got hired into that I thought would be a good choice, and for the last 7 months has been complete hell. I am no longer worried about that job. I am now able to to go in this direction and play more and, and relax a little bit more. Um, I would like some feedback. If you guys would like to see the scenarios um, basically cut up into multiple Let's Plays for under 20 minute or whatever, that's really great. Just let me know. So my goal here is I'm just going to push hard. It's about being aggressive in this one. And we're just going to push. I'm going to secure Rostov and I'm with the southern my southern units. And then the rest of my units, I'm going to try to move down and cut off their rail. See if I can do anything good with that. So, here we go. We're just going to start moving in. Doing some support. Um, I'm not sure how effective my units are. I don't recall at this time period if there are any issues I need to worry about or, you know, how weak they might be against certain things. So let's um, let's start this with move it up and let's just strike hard. We're gonna strike really hard here. Let's see what do we got? Nah. Okay, I need to cut off their supplies. Is what I need to do if I can do it. Let's see. There we go. There we go. Can we... There we go. Just moving around. Trying to be a jerk to them is what I'm trying to do. That way when they start next turn with no supplies, that might be to my benefit. Oh, my volume's a little loud there. Hmm, that's weird. Okay, what else are we looking at, guys? I think we're just going to hold the bulwark here. Our goal is to um, not let them get behind us. Let's move our armor here. But um, things are going really well. I'm excited to be playing again. It has been so long, I don't even know what to say about it. It's just been horrible. Okay. Let's move up. There we go, one KIA. Oh, one more KIA. Let's get some infantry moving in there. Wait a minute, do I wanna... One more KIA. Can the infantry do it for me? One K, okay, it's still worth it. It hurt, that hurt, that wasn't nice. But um, they're still hurt, so... I can't move, can I? I can't get anybody else in there to attack. Fair enough. Let's see. I think we are going to make the attack. Oh, suppression. That wasn't what I wanted. Still two suppression. Oh, I wasn't paying attention if they were doing suppression or not. Let's... Ah, he's doing just a little bit better than me. I dislike that. Okay, I am thinking... We'll just move our way around here. 
see what we can do with um, the Germans. Ooh, looks like they can do some nice attacks on us. I don't know. I don't know if it's better to let them move or to attack them. Let's attack them. Oh, suppression. Okay. So I think we're going to call it good for this turn. Um, do we need any reinforcements? No, I'm not going to call any reinforcements at the moment. Let's see if we can do it with what we have. Um, supplies. Where are we hurting on supplies? Here. There we go. Okay, let's end that turn, guys. All right, guys, to kind of give you an idea, the com overall commander of this area for the Russians was Colonel General Yakov Churvinchenko. Now, um, I'm not sure if I pronounced his name correctly, but he had a really long military career for the Soviets. Um, he first was conscripted as a peasant by the um, Tsar and his um, Russian Empire armies. Oh, yeah, let's do that. He um, fought in World War I and ended up um, basically as a lower end NCO. He's like a, basically a sergeant. Um, he returned back to his native homeland around 1918 and he joined the Red Army. As the Bolsheviks rebelled, he joined them. He was part of their um, first cavalry army. So he's a cavalry man to begin with. Um, kind of a little background on him. He was born October 12th, 1894. Um, definitely an older soldier when he, World War II came along. Um, he was he died July 4th, 1976. Kind of funny, you know, because I'm an American, July 4th, and it's 1976, the 200th anniversary. Um, he had, he was originally part of the Russian Empire and then part of the Soviet Union, or Soviet Russia, and then the Soviet Union as they built up. Oh, who do I want to go in here? Oh, I, am I really low in ammo? How the hell did that happen? Um, hmm, I'm not liking how these losses look. Um, his final rank was Colonel General. Um, the Russian ranks I'm still not as familiar with, I, so I apologize. I'm not sure how high up that is. But um, he had several commands under his um, thing. He served during World War I. He served in the Russian Civil War. And he served, of course, during World War II. I mean, like we weren't expecting that. Let's see, can I take him out? Let's do it. Suppression, really? Only one suppression is all I get off that? Let's move him up. Oh, I can't move him up then. Can we move somebody up to take him out infantry-wise? There we go. Because I wanted to use my tanks for something else. Um, so his first military command was the Odessa Military District. And this was um, right as the Germans invaded during World War II. It was in June 1941 was when he stopped being in charge of that area. He was promoted to the 9th Army. He was in charge of the 9th Army from um, June to September. The first two, three, four months of the war is pretty harsh fighting too. Um, but he was promoted from there. Obviously, he was doing well enough. He kept getting promoted. Do I want to... Let's take him. There we go. That's nice. I, I can go with that. Um, at that point, in September of 41, for one month, he was promoted to being in charge of the second army. So it was September to October 1941. And then um, he's put in charge of the entire southern front from October to December. And that's when the first Battle of Rostov happened. That's when... Um, the Germans initially invaded, but were repulsed by, I think it was the 37th Army. Oh, yes. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. My nice little C-34. I love you. Love you. Loves the word. Okay, we're, we're looking pretty good, guys. I'm pretty excited how this is working out. Let's see. Do I need to reinforce you? No, I guess I can't. No, we'll just move you up. But, um, wait a minute. Have I already fired him? I don't remember using him to do anything at the moment. Okay, let's take out. There we go. That's what I wanted to see, guys. Feeling good about life and my Russian military here. Soviet Union, sorry. This was um, USSR at the time. But I'm not seeing anything more I can do. Can I? Ooh, do I want to lose two? And let's do it. Oh, it's two suppression. I didn't even notice that. That's my fault. Start moving more troops up. Oh, we should probably 
start cutting them off. Ew. I'm just not, it is not pretty for me. Okay, let's put you in front of the Germans. Don't let you, don't attack. Just Can I dig in? How do you dig in? I totally forgot how you dig in in this. Oh, I don't think you can unless you're not moving. Oh, I didn't mean to move like that, guys. Can we undo that? Can we undo that? Thank you. Can I hit you from... Oh, crap, that's a lot of... A lot of hurting on my part. Oh, am I really low on ammo? Oh, my God. Okay. That's not... I don't know. Maybe I made a mistake with that. But, um... After the southern front, he got put in charge of the Bryansk front from December to 41 to April 42. And that's like an even larger chunk of area down in the south where they're fighting. And I'm just kind of rambling now. I apologize about that. Where am I going? What am I doing here? I don't know. I don't know if I want to. Ooh. I guess maybe I moved too far over. Maybe that was my problem, guys. Let's go over here. Eh. Eh. There we go. 2K. Can you give me love? No, I don't want to risk that love there. Okay, what are we looking up up here? Hmm. I'm really wanting to um, cut off their supplies. I'm, I'm really kind of learning how to do that with this game. Can I... There we go. That works. There we go. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good about life. There we go. Nice. Let's go back over here and resupply. Keep them locked in. But um, he served on Bryansk front until April 42. And then um, he got moved to the Black Sea group of fo of the Black Sea Group of Forces? I don't know why I wrote, I don't know what that means. But he got changed to October 42, and then in charge of the Fifth Army from October 42 to February 43. That's about where we're at now. That's why he's in charge of this whole army. And then he got put in charge of the entire Kharkov military district from 43 to January 44. And am I able to, <sighs> crap. No, let's undo that one. Okay. I don't, Let's move them up here so they can't move their guys up any farther. Going a little slower because I'm just jabbering at you guys. I apologize for that, if that's an issue. Um, no, there's not much for me to do, guys. Okay, I think that's about it for um, my units. I don't know if I, I don't think I have anything more I really want to risk. Oh, hey. My buddies ask me how I'm feeling. I, I messed up my back, so I'm a little bit on drugs, too. So, so if they seem a little spacey and a little jabbery, that's probably why. Okay, let's end this turn, guys. Oh, let's do the fuel first. Where do we want to do the fuel? Um, let's do the... Oh. Guess we'll just do fuel supply. Okay, I'll see you next turn, guys. Churn 3, guys. Okay, talking about Churn Shaco, um, basically he was um, conscripted into the Tsar's army in 19... I think it was 1914, and fought in World War I. Horrible, horrible. I would... I, oh, man, I gotta... My hat's off to the man for being able to go through that. That's a horrible, horrible fight. Um, he returned back to his homeland in 1918 and immediately joined the Bolsheviks and helped Red Army fight the White Army. Uh, the White Army were the Tsarist forces. Can we, can we kick you out? Ew, it's not gonna be enough, is it? Let's move our troops up. I'm gonna move our troops up. Um, upon, upon successfully beating off the White Army with the rest of the Bolsheviks, he um, attended the Red Army's Higher Cavalry School in 1924. Um, he did that, he was in there until 1935, because he also went to the Frunz Military Academy to 35. He's awarded the rank of Lieutenant General when the traditional general officer ranks were introduced in the Red Army, which, so he actually went from NCO, he's just a sergeant, to evidently his service was well enough for the Soviets that they promoted him up. Okay, what are we doing here? Oh, 
Okay, I'm not really sure which way I want to go with this. Uh, let's go across. What about... Mm, I don't know if I like that. There we go. Okay, let's move up here. Okay. Are we going to get me a... Uh, there we go. Very nice. Very nice. Can we... Yeah, we'll wipe them out. Good job. Good job, Red Army. Keep those wacky Germans out. Can we... No. <laughs> Ew, no. We won't do any of that. We'll actually make them come after us. Cavalry. Oh, my God. I have all my armors up north. Why are you all up north? Why did I do that? Um... No, I don't want to do that. So I think what we're going to do... We're refueled. Move out here. What are we looking at? Ew, that's not pretty. Oh, God, you'd think I'd be able to take him, but no. Ah, one so... Uh, uh, nope, it's not worth it. Can I move him out of the way? No. Can I move him out of the way? No. And then we'll move him. Can we? No, we don't want to do that. Okay. Moving our troops up. Ooh, we're doing pretty good though. I'm feeling pretty good about how this is working out. Ew, but not that. All right, let's move you. Can we? No, I don't want to risk it at the moment. It's not worth it. Okay, let's move our cavalry around. Which, by the way, I would think the cavalry would do bit. What is? What do they have for? What is their? Oh, they have stugs. Okay, that's why. I was like, why wouldn't my cavalry take out infantry? Oh, it's because they have um, stugs, which. Nasty, nasty to fight with. Okay. Okay, we got them kind of surrounded. Do I want to move down the coast here? How are supply lines looking? Ew, I got to grab the supply source. That's what I got to grab. Okay. That's why I'm having problems here. Can I move you back? You back. Let's move you back a little bit so we can try to take you next round. So basically, he was in charge of the 9th Army during the invasion by the Ru the Germans. Um, he assumed command of the Southern Front from Lieutenant General Dmitry Rabyashev on the 5th of October. And by this time, Kleist, who was a uh, general for the Germans, had pushed his panzers all the way through Russia, was, was um, advancing towards the Rostov Oblast. Which, by the way, I think Oblast of like, counties, but I'm not quite sure. Let's see, move here. Let's see, can we take you out? No... No. What about you here now? No. Okay, let's just do steel supplies. I think we'll do this. Let's look at the fuel supplies now. Oh good, my armor's still doing good. I gotta grab this. If I can grab this, we'll be doing a lot better. But um, basically he'd been pushing through and Timonchenko, which was another general, got together with um, Cherovchenko, the the person I'm talking about, and decided to do a counterattack. Now Cherovchenko wanted to wait on the counterattack, but you know how that works. Let's end a turn now. Now, Kleist Panzer Army did take Rostov, but we're only able to hold it for about a month before um uh, Chenko was able to push them back out. And Chenko got a photo of him with Stalin and was pra praised uh, basically the person who helped rescue everything. And that's when um, he was basically promoted again. That's when he was um, char when he was upgraded to the commander of the Bryansk front. Oh, I better get my attention back to what I'm doing here. Sorry guys, while I... So used to have an artillery or something. Damn, didn't work. And we'll do it again. Still not effective. 
Ah, that really sucked, guys. That was really not a good choice. I should have not pushed that hard. That's okay. We'll move him back to where he can be refueled. We're gonna go secure ourselves some um, fuel. Can I take? Oh, what are we looking at here? No. No. Okay, guys, we're just basically. Oh, getting our butt kicked. There we go. That's what I needed. That's the kind of love I needed, guys. Oh, no, we won't do that. We're just going to take out care of your supplies, guys. That's our goal here. To cut off your supplies. Okay. No, no, no. How are, where are our supply lines at? Okay. Can I get reinforcements for him? Yes, we'll do it. There we go. I needed to recharge anyways. Now, let's go down south here. What are we looking at? Uh, uh, we need to start pushing through. Can I, let's add, yeah, let's add three more. And we'll move him back here. Let's see, no, no, no. Oh, this is really not the best situation. Let's, let's move him to the side. Move him over here. And you know what? We're going to call it good for this turn, I think, because I don't think I can do much more. Let's look at our supplies. Same here. And we'll call it the end of the turn. Okay, good news, I figured out why I was saying Black Sea Group of Forces. He was basically in charge of defending the Black Sea Naval Base, which was actually very important. Doesn't probably sound as cool as it could be, but it's pretty damn important. Okay, can we? Ah, crap. Do you have an option? Ah. Let's... Did I capture it? Okay. There we go. Slowly destroying crap. That's how I roll, guys. Let's see what we got going on here. Eh. Good news is, next round I will have more, um, more supplies, so that won't be nearly as bad. Oh, do I want to move up and attack? What do I got here? What do I got going on? No, God, no. The guys were sucking that way. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Let's move down. God, it's looking very, very poorly. Okay, let's break through. What do we, oh, yeah, there we go. What about here? Yeah, it's all suppression. No. Let's. There we go. Still worth it, because I need to. Okay, you need to get out of there, though. I need to move you up here. <sighs> Crap. Let's break this. Oh, damn it, they still get one more than I thought. That is so frustrating. There we go. Okay, so move him back so they have to move forward. Oh, hey, wait a minute. Ah, one and one, one and one. Ah, that's not what I want to do. Can I? No, it's not worth taking. What about you and you, one and one? Mm. I think we're going to hold. Can I dig? I can't dig, can I? 
Okay. I think, guys, we're basically at the end point of this turn. Um, my kind of goal, I gotta stop them. The problem is... Oh yeah, let's do that. There we go. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Something like that. Keep them um, without fuel. That's the important goal. And in that way, they're, hard, they're easier to take care of next round. Okay, so we'll end this turn. Wait, no. Fuel first. Fuel first. I always forget to fuel first. Oh, crap. Wow, I still have... Oh, no. Okay. So you are still in there. So I need to move you out of there. So you still have fuel. Okay. Oh, I think... You're the only one I need to... Uh, I can't move you, though, can I? No, we'll just hold you. Okay, fuel. And we're gonna hit them. Because that should make the fuel go... Oh, it is captured. Is it captured? Alright, let's end this turn, guys. All right, turn six, guys. Now, let's go back to Chervinchenko. Um, he actually, the Operation Blue, the Germans launched, I think it was in late 42. They took the Black Sea Fleet place, and he kind of lost his place as being thought of as an awesome commander. I um, mean, kind of basically lost all um, ability to command for a while. They, they kept him as commander, but they didn't, they didn't give many units to command. Oh yeah, that's what I'm looking for, guys. Oh. oh, the Soviets are feeling awesome after this fight already. Ooh, no, we don't want to do that. Let's move him in on here. Not yet. Let's cut him off. I don't want him retreating. We don't want no retreating. No retreating for you, guy. None at all. I'm going to keep you locked in. Locked in so your fuel, real, your supplies will really suck next time. So basically, until I think it was like 43, he, he lost any ability to really command anything. And then in 1944, he was made commanding officer of the Kharkov Military District. Um, he basically served, they told him where to go and what to do. And he was appointed commanding officer of the 7th Rifle Corps in late April 45. This unit took part in the Battle of Berlin um, as part of the first Belarusian front at the close of World War II. Now, after World War II, he became an assistant commander for the Tauride Military District from 48 to 50. And in 1950, Trevenchenko retired from military service. And like I said, he, he died in July 4th, 1976. Can I? No, that's not worth it. Okay, so we're looking good in supplies here. I'm feeling good about life. Let's... Oh, is that... Wait a minute. Let's take a look. Oh, that's the other supply source. Yep, that's the one we have to take, guys. Um, we're gonna move him. Where's the Where's the supplies? Right there. Is that it? Oh, can they come back? Uh, I don't know if they can come back or not. Let's um, move down, anyways. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, looking around here. What else do we got going on? Yeah, I don't want to take you on. We, I don't want to lose forces if I don't have to. Let's scan down. I honestly am not sure how well I'm doing at the moment, guys. I'm kind of... Kind of a little bit... Ooh. What about here? Ew. God, my forces do not like to fight these guys, do they? I guess I'm kind of holding them up and, like, basically making them... There we go. Can I go? What about... Yeah. There we go. That's what the whisper was looking for, guys. Is a little bit area to basically bump in there. Ooh, I can't reach him. Uh, I don't think I'm going to make the decisive victory time, but that's okay. Um, as long as I win, I guess that's all that counts. Uh, I think we're it. I think we're about where we're going to be. Because I don't want to risk. Yeah, it's just throwing my troops into badness. Well, let's go up here and keep you from going anywhere, buddy. By here. No. Nope. Okay, we're looking good. I'm thinking. Thinking we're gonna hold. We're gonna call it. Oh wait, any force pool? No. 
We're going to call it into trim which the supplies at. I thought I captured this. Did I mess up? I swear I captured this. Ugh. Whisper is unhappy. Oh, that is so annoying. I thought I captured all this. Okay, we'll call it end of turn. Oh God, I'm losing fuel. Okay, so let's look at the fuel guys. Where is supply sources captured? I swear to God. Mm. I'm not sure why it's doing that. I should probably reread the instructions again. Okay. Okay, where's the next supply at? Oh, one more. There we go. Ugh, that's so frustrating. And let's take you all the way over here. Okay, here. That's only suppression. How do I want to do this? All right, good job. Let's scoot it on down here. Now let's look at our supplies. Ah, why? I don't understand. Whisper doesn't understand. And I'm sure it's right in front of me. I mean, I'm sure you guys would be able to point at it and go, uh, that's why it's happening. That's why you're a dork, Whisper. Let's surround these guys. I like it when we surround them. But um, that was basically the career of the general. Let me see. Can I? What happens if I do? What about... I'm going to get across here. Across here. Can I take him? Ew. I don't think I want to take you at the moment. What we're going to do is we're going to move stuff up into you. Okay. Okay, Whisper. What else are we looking at here? Oh, what about here? No. Oh, we're out of fuels. Why? What about here? No? No? Okay. Are you out of, really? Are you out of fuel too? Why are you guys all out of fuel? <sighs> okay. That's what we'll do. There we go. Okay, I think we'll call this for the churn, guys. I'm pretty sure there's nothing else for me to do. Keep him there to keep him trapped. So I'll see you guys next trip. Okay, Soviet turn eight, and I'm still not sure why my. I thought I captured it. It's captured. Why is the supply source being a jerk to me? Okay. Let's not cry over spilt milk or spilt oil as the case may be. Let's. Hey. Hey, what's going on here? Ah. Uh. There we go. Okay. Why is the fuel now? Now is there clear? Okay, there is clear fuel all the way down. Okay, what do I need to do? See, this is where Whisper probably hasn't studied enough. Because shouldn't the fuel be coming from here to me? That's what I would think. Let's destroy them. Nope, I guess that won't destroy them. 
Ooh, come on. Why? Oh, you guys are tough. Tough, I have to say. You're making the whisper cry. And we'll move you on up. Okay, what are you looking at for... Uh, it's not going to be good enough. Uh, can I? No, we don't want to do that. Nope. Oh boy. There we go. That's what that's what Whisper wanted to see. Destroying units. I love destroying the units. You'd think I have a little bit better understanding of this. There we go. You're not going anywhere, buddy. Okay. Okay. It's going to be tight, guys. And a turn eight. Okay, so what it's looking like is I'm cutting them off from their own supplies, which is fine. That works for me. Let's first. Come on, what can you do for me? Come on, guys. There we go. What about what about one more? No. Cavalry. There we go. That's we're slowly working them down. There we go. There we go. What if I do if I attack new? What about there? Ew. Okay, so they're low in supplies. That's a good sign for me, I think. Let's see if I need to get more. There we go. What about here? There we go. Now, what about here? Now, let's see. Okay, what about here? Ew. Kind of quiet, guys, just because I'm trying to figure out where to make my attack. Well, I'm done pretty good securing a lot of the secondary stuff. I'm not sure about the primary, though. That's what's going to... Hmm. Okay, so we will... I think we're going to let it go at... Oh, wait, can I... Oh, there we go. There we go. Eh. Shoot. We're going to wait one more round for them to starve out, guys. That's kind of the goal here, I think. Can I attack there? One for one. Okay, we'll leave it here. So guys, it's turn 10. I'm going to have to kind of make my move now, I think. I think they're going to get their fuel back next turn. So, um, oh, some of the awards that Chernchenko had won. He won two orders of Lenin for 1940, February 21st and 1945. He won the Order of October Revolution. That was for him serving, of course, in the, there we go, serving as part of the Red um, Army against the Whites. Let's take you out. Um, he earned four orders of the Red Banner, 
Um, but for 1923, February 22nd, 1930, November 3rd, 1944, and in 1948. There we go. I like that. Oh, ooh, ooh, can I move in? No. Yes, captured Rostov. Oh, did I do it, guys? Is that it? Oh, my score sucks. 190 out of 500. Didn't I get a bunch of objectives, though? Maybe not. Maybe I totally misunderstood it. Um, to finish it out, he got the Order of Kutsov, first class, July 29th, 1944, and second class. He got the Order of Suvorov, second class, 1945, Order of the Red Star, Medal for the Defense of Sevastopol, Medal for the Defense of the Caucasus, Medal for the Capture of Berlin, Medal for the Victory over Germany in the Great Patriotic War, 1941 and 1945, the Jubilee Medal, 20 Years of Workers and Peasants Red Army, the Polish Cross of Gunveld Third Class, 1946, and the Medal for the Odra, Nissus Baltic, 1946. And I have no idea what some of those are. But let's see. Let's um, save the game. That works for me. Um, Soviet victory, 190 out of 500. Not my best showing, but you know, I've been gone for a while and, and I'm still learning this game. This game has a lot of stuff to learn. Um, let's go back to the main menu. I want to thank you all for watching. If you can give me some feedback, I want to know if you'd rather watch these as one Let's Play for the whole battle, or if you'd like me to break it up into a few, like, 15 or 20 minute increments. I don't know what's easier for people. Um, I haven't decided how to do this one, so I don't know if I've broken it up or not for this. Okay, guys, I'll talk to you later. Thank you very much for your time, and I'll see you next time.